Hello, 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 hello. I know, I know it's been a minute and a half, but I'm here. I wanted to give a one month micro lock update. In case you're new here, I got micro locks five weeks ago and I'm going to be giving a quick summary all about my micro locks. I did share a uh, blog post on my community tab and if you've been following me on instagram then you'd have seen um all the information up there so make sure to be following me on there and um subscribe to my newsletter so that you don't miss any updates but yes i have officially had micro locks for a little over a month now so um faqs let's get right into it first so I got my micro locks installed between 22nd July and 24th July so it took three days 30 hours over the three days so 10 hours 10 hours 10 hours they were installed by a lovely lady called Karen um, in Nairobi I'm going to leave her details in the description box and if you know anything about pricing when it comes to pricing for sister locks and micro locks it's based on the length of your hair and sometimes they do charge based on the density and texture as well so i started off with between 12 and 14 inches of hair and they usually charge like a, a base rate for the first couple of inches and then charge per inch above that so you can imagine the base rate for the first three inches is anywhere from 30 to 46 thousand kenya shillings or in usd that would be about um like 250 dollars to start and then for every inch about above that it can be anywhere from 4000 to 6000 kenya shillings um and this is usually sister locks pricing so um that again is 40 to 50 dollars per inch above that so if you do your mathematics um i paid somewhere between 70,000 kenya shillings and 90,000 kenya shillings which is around 700 750 us dollars um this is something i decided to do in 2020 that's when my lock envy was really hit a high and i was like no i'm getting these locks done so that's when i started doing my research i got a quote from someone and i slowly started saving up towards them and i just timed it right and i knew that this like year was the year i was going to get them done and i think i was really pushed to get the locks done asa because after experiencing <laughs> winter for the first time last year I was like, I'm not doing another winter with open hair. I just cannot. I cannot. I cannot do it. So, um, I think that was a big factor as to why I was just really, really ready to do them. But if you've been following me, I've been talking about having that lock itch, itch for a while. So, it's just been something that I felt was inevitable. And I'm so, so excited because I've been prepared to uh, get them um what else would people want to know about um my sister locks my micro locks again that's another thing okay because people always ask what's the difference between sister locks and micro locks are you are yours micro locks or sister locks my locks are micro locks and i'll call them such because the person who installed them is not certified and so with when it comes to sister locks sister locks are a type of micro locks that are protected by law i'm i confuse trademarks and copyrights and all of those and patents my learned friends lawyers can tell us the difference in the comments but basically um sister locks is trademarked yes sister locks tm it's a company that was founded by i think she's called jo dr joan in 1993 so she's patented the process of getting sister locks that means the grid that is used the technique the person who does the sister locks is supposed to be certified um the sister locks tool is a unique 
tool as well that's used to install there are particularities about the number the interlocking patterns you can use and i go um into some detail about the difference between sister locks and micro locks on my instagram so if i can find that quick summary i posted i'll just put it here beside me but you can always find out more information from a loctician because they are in a better position to explain these differences to you are they permanent so some of the questions many people have asked like can you get, undo them you know will you keep them in forever i put them in with the intention of having them permanent permanent you know i mean if i decided somewhere down the line that i got bored of them i'm more likely to just cut them off then to comb them out but most locks if you are determined enough you're persistent enough you can actually um, get them combed out it would probably be such a headache <laughs> and tiring to do but it is possible so for me i'm keeping them in so i had been asked why i chose like micro locks over texturizing my hair or traditional dreadlocks and um I'm not interested in chemically processing my hair. It's just not something I miss at all. I think after having natural hair for over over six years, seven years now, I even when I straighten my hair when it's natural, I it's not as fun. <laughs> I don't have much fun with straight hair. So I think that's why um, it's not something I've thought of doing, like relaxing my hair again. Texturizing, I guess, I can see the appeal, but it's just not something um, I've considered for myself. Again, because I, I don't really care to wear my hair straight. Um, and of course, you know, you can keep the a bit of the volume and the curl. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So chemically processing, including coloring my hair, is just not something I feel like doing at the moment. I'm not saying I'll never do it in my life, but yeah, I I think for me, I just knew the next thing, the next itch was locks. I've had the natural itch, I've had the color itch, you know, the bleach. I've gone through that those phases, and so why i really like sister locks and micro locks i just love how they look i think traditional locks are beautiful as well but when i first really saw sister locks i just kind of fell in love with the size with how they sit and then there's a way in which they kind of look like open natural hair kind of so um i know many people say they pick smaller locks for the versatility of styling i don't know how creative um i'll be with styling my hair <laughs> i tend to keep it very simple um but yeah i just like the look i really like the look because it just looks like very tiny twists yeah which is a look if you've been following me for a while you know that i really enjoy having my hair in mini twists um yeah so it just feels like a style that i enjoy um and wouldn't mind having in for a long time in terms of the technique so um they were installed using interlocking so i didn't start off with twists or braids um which is something you can do with micro locks you can even start micro locks on your own so for mine they were interlocked all the way from the ends to uh, the roots in terms of maintenance since installation i've had one retightening session so for those of you who don't know anything about uh, locks retightening is when you go to maintain like the base the new growth so some people re retie or retighten using like um what is it called like palm rolling and some uh, use interlocking so uh, i will be retightening with interlocking so i've had my first retightening session which was four weeks after my install so my retie was actually just last week last monday on 22nd of august so i've had one retightening session um, and on that retie day is when I had my first shampoo. So they braided my hair, they shampooed it at the sink, rinsed it out, and then did the retightening. Um, and so after my retightening session, my loctician advised that I work with a five-week retightening session um, and just see how that goes. So the first few months of having micro locks, 
or sister locks are usually very crucial that you're pretty consistent with your retightening so down the line i think anywhere up to eight weeks between four and eight weeks is the usual frequency of going to retighten your hair other than that i guess for the past month i've only used rose water <laughs> on my scalp and on my hair and it's been pretty i just see how my hair is feeling if it needs it and i don't use much of it um so that's all i have been using um yeah and then the shampoo that was done on that day i also got the the sister locks uh, starter kit so this comes with a little like it shares some tips on how to wash your hair it has some um, little rubber bands that you use when you when you when you first get um micro locks they can easily unravel so usually when i'm washing my hair needs to be put in little braids and then uh, put the rubber bands at the end to prevent the hair from unraveling so this little box has some tips for sister locks and then uh, the sister locks a starter shampoo so this is what i'm going to be using um when i spoke to karen she asked me how my scalp was doing after going a month without washing it i told her it was actually fine like my scalp itself was flaky just i believe because i hadn't put any oils in it so i've not oiled my scalp at all in the last i would say seven almost two months but for me my scalp seems to do better without oiling it i had some issues a few years ago and i feel like oil was just making my scalp suffer more so um i do i did have some flaking at the scalp but after my first retire um and wash it's much much better now so when i feel like my scalp is extra flaky is when i go in with the rose water and honestly that's about it so i think that's my <laughs> product list for now um i haven't washed my hair myself so she said i see how long i can go without washing it and just make sure that it's clean before my next retire which is supposed to be five weeks from last week so we're gonna see how that goes maybe if i can i'll try and film the wash day for you but yeah there are lots of videos on how to like braid and band and yeah just wash the locks i know people wash their hair every week some people wash their hair only before they're retightening so anywhere from every four to eight weeks some people every two weeks so it's more of just feeling for what works for you and also listening to maybe what your consultant uh, recommends i know there are some who are quite particular about washing or not washing your hair especially early on in your journey but for me since i'm past the first four weeks where my loctician was like don't wash your hair for these first four weeks now i think i have the freedom to determine how often i'll wash them so we're just gonna have to see how that goes other questions i've been asked are about whether you can use leave-in conditioners deep conditioners and treatments on your locks i have been advised against it by my loctician she says that um, oil-based products heavy products can increase slippage so slippage is when your locks come undone and they can delay the locking process they can also cause build up so um i'm just avoiding them i've not felt the need to condition my hair as yet so as i said all i'm using is rose water and then shampoo when the time comes that's it in terms of styling i've also been very basic with it i'm not really doing anything i wake up shake and go um maybe like now i've just put a pin on one side or hold it up but i really haven't done any particular styling and then at night my bonnet where is my bonnet i just wear a, a bonnet to sleep 
And generally when I'm lying about, even in the house, I just wear a bonnet because I want to really minimize getting any lint. I hear that lint is most common to build up like under here and around the perimeter. So I also have silk satin pillowcases just in case my bonnet decides to leave my head and go to the kitchen or to the sitting room in the middle of the night. You know, the bonnets really just have no commitment to staying on your head. So yeah, that's it, guys. I wish there was more to say, but my life has just been very, very peaceful, very, like it's not something I'm thinking about ever since the install. Um, of course, it's, I'm very interested in seeing how they, keep locking and i think that's why i just want to make sure that i'm actively documenting my journey so yeah that's what this video is for i know someone might ask about the number of my micro locks so i had counted them on the day of install i counted 563 but my loctician during my retire recounted and counted 577 so that is my lock count so I think that's all for this video if you again if you have questions drop them down below I think I'm going to end the video with a little lock tour I guess so uh, I'll just give you guys a 360 of my locks um, yep